I came in 99 and uh, it was the first year we had came out with our first product. So I, I'm like, hey, let's go to GIE, see if there's anything out there like it. And then the um, show was huge back then. Actually, they had the entire exhibit area. They had the back area where they used to have like the food area. It was huge because back then, there, you know, there's no social media. And so the show got bigger and bigger. And then like 2007, eight really got small. Um, and so I took probably five or six years off um, and then started coming back again. And then now it's, of course, booming again. It's getting bigger and this year will be huge. Yeah, those first dances are nice. So you had a great to sit down? Uh, yeah, uh, CTHG. Yeah, those are nice little lovers. Awesome. So we went, uh, my dad and I went, and, and was just, I was blown away at the, just the, the equipment, the gear, the brands, and I thought I was kind of in the know, and I had no clue. I mean, there was um, the first, actually at the time, Great Dane was the first stand-on mower. I'd never seen a stand-on mower. Kind of funny, I go, that'll never work. <laughs> Wrong. I'm like, that's a terrible, I'm like, no one's gonna do that. I'll just ride, or I'll walk, because we like walking, and I'm like, no one's gonna stand on a mower. Miss that boat. Um, VIP? GIE. No. No. G I We're going to do it again. GIE, VIP, 10% <laughs> off everything on the website. I've been seeing a lot of guys posting that, hey, I'm just too busy and I can't afford it. Um, I would say that the equipment is the least important thing of that entire show. Equipment's cool, right guys? We like to look at trucks and mowers, but that's the least of it. Um, I think it's important that you network with people, you talk, you hang out. I learned more um, back in the day having a beer with a guy afterwards and saying, hey, I heard what you said, but tell me what really goes on in your business. What are you really struggling with? How are you getting those guys? How are you getting work? And the thing I found at all these events, and especially GIE, is guys are much more open, man. They'll share pricing, they'll share strategies on hiring people, you know, versus your small town, right? If you're in a small town, everybody thinks it's everything's top secret. I don't, and my, we have guys on our podcast, and we, I want everybody to level up, but unfortunately guys feel like they're intimidated. If I tell him, he might take my account from me. And, and so I think it's just so important for those guys to get out, hang out with people that are winning, hang out with people that are getting it done. I think it's, it's, it's inspiring to see that this is not just a weekend warrior, and I don't say that in a bad term because those guys are kicking butt too. But I think they get like, man, I can make a career out of this. This is an industry that, that's booming. There's great things going on. People are making a living doing this. Um, so it's just a lot of inspiration, I think. Guys, having a great time here at the GIE. It's all about networking and making the right connections and um, meeting a lot of new people, seeing a lot of old friends, so having a great time. How are you guys doing? Spring, spring uh, trip on it, and it also has transport mode. You can flip it up. You're listening to the LCR Media Podcast, where we get to know the pros. I'm your host, LCR Naylor Talia Farrow. And on today's episode, we have a very special episode, our first live podcast with a live studio audience. Let's hear it, guys. Woo! All right. Different things that we're doing, and those, those pennies add up to dollars, and dollars add up to thousands, and it makes a big difference. And it's, uh, we had our best year last year during COVID, which was kind of crazy, um, just by working smarter. I'll take anybody, anywhere, anytime. Oh,